We are back at The Conjuring House, where our channel started last year. Last time we were here, we had some of the craziest activity we've ever experienced. It was terrifying. A piece of the wall was ripped off and thrown across the room. We seem to have something negative that's been following us. How? Guys, this place is haunted. That's absolutely insane. There's like a male voice, like, it was like whispering though. Every time I say I'm gonna go in there and go near the birthing room, it goes off. Oh my God. That scared me. <laughs> Dude, that's absolutely insane though. Yeah. There was a noise right back here by the well. That's a lot of power. You got him here. Are you talking about the person who's following us? Again behind me. Are you gonna do something to us tonight? Dude, that voice is so weird. There's definitely an answer. Maybe that's why it's following us. All right, guys, it is that time. It is officially Halloween. We saved the spookiest video for last. We are back where our channel started. We're at The Conjuring House here in Harrisville, Rhode Island. Guys, The Conjuring House is iconic. You guys already know the history, so we're not going to delve too deep into that. But immediately, as we've been doing for the October videos, we're going to jump into solos, and we're going to flip-flop in the end of the night, see how the activity changes. But we seem to have something negative that's been following us the past couple months, so I'm interested to see how it affects the Conjuring House. Yeah, it's weird. It's been kind of scaring a lot of the intelligent spirits that these locations have been going to. I'm wondering if it's going to have the same effect here, the same power, the same control, right. or if whatever's here on this land and in this house is going to be strong enough and powerful enough to kind of come through it and communicate with us like it did last time we were here. I mean, last time we were here, we had some of the craziest activity we've ever experienced. I mean, literally a piece of the wall was ripped off and thrown across the room. It felt like the house was like falling down. It was terrifying. I'm excited to see what we get tonight and uh, I think we just need to get into it and see what we have. Jump into these solos and then we'll meet back up. We're actually going to do things different than we did last year. Yeah. We're going to start on the top and work our way down to the basement, which is exactly the opposite of how we filmed last time we were here. So guys, it is that time. We're back at the Conjuring House. Let's do some solos and uh, see what this place has for us tonight. Yeah, good luck. Let's go. <sighs> here we go. Basements. Why do I always get the basement? It is so dark. Here we go. All right, guys. So looking up a staircase, what a treat to start the night. I think I'm gonna start up in the middle bedroom. But, you know, gotta shut these lights off first. We don't investigate with the lights. Now. Come on now. Let's see what the Conjuring Basement has in store for me this time. I mean, down here last time we had some absolutely insane activity. We had sound like somebody running down the staircase. We had Melmeter activity, intelligent stuff like that. So we're going to just do EVPs in these first solos. I'm doing three EVPs. He's doing three EVPs. Then we're going to get back together and we're going to start with an SS session upstairs. But let's get into it. Let's do some EVPs and uh, see who's talking to us down here in the Conjuring Basement tonight. We're going to start immediately with the EVPs. We're going to ask three questions each and see if we can make contact with someone who's up here. See if they want to talk to us tonight. So you know I had to start down here. I'm starting in the room with the well. So one of the most iconic spots in the house. I'm in the basement, in this back room. We're gonna do some EVPs. I'm gonna jump right into questions and see if there's anybody down here with me. We're gonna do a few questions in each session and then uh, we'll meet back up and see what we can get. Here we go. One, two, three. My name is Steve. I've been here a couple times before. Do you remember me? Can you see anybody else down here with me right now that you don't recognize from this house? Do you like that people come here and speak with you? One, two, three. Let's see what we got. Three, two, one. My name is Dylan. My friend Steve is in the basement. Do you recognize us? When we were doing a live stream earlier tonight, and I was in the basement, I got a really severe headache. Were you affecting me? All right, let's play this back. Do you like that people 
Nothing. All right. So the first session is super quiet. Interesting. 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 All right. Let's do uh, let's do a couple more questions and see if they're getting used to me. If they're, I'm wondering if this negative thing that came with us is strong enough to influence the activity at the conjuring house. Can it keep away the spirits that are in this house so that it controls the narrative like it has been? Can you read what my sweatshirt says or say the design that's on it? Let's see. All right, let's play this back really quick. First of all, it's the ghost generation design. Shout out Sarah, but let's see. My name is Dylan, I in the basement. What? My name is Dylan, I in the basement. What is that noise? What? My name is Dylan. I've got in the basement. Do you recognize us? Well, we were doing a live stream earlier tonight. What does that say? It's two words. My name is Dylan. I've got in the basement. Do you recognize us? Well, we were doing a live stream earlier tonight. I was in the basement. I got a really severe headache. Are you affecting me? Can you read what my sweatshirt says? Or say the design is on it? I don't... Dude, that voice is so weird. It's like guttural. I don't even know what it is, like, I, I can't tell what it's saying, but it's just very dark, very, like, a deep voice, very raspy, I don't know. All right, here we go. Next session. One, two, three. Do you know who's following Dylan and I? Is it okay to sleep in this house? Are you by me, by this well? One, two, three. There was a noise right back here by the well. It sounded like something either hit the well or hit this like piece of metal right behind it. Let's see if they say anything. I'm gonna move over kind of into this area, see if I can make contact with Manny, the little boy spirit who said to hang out in here. All right, Manny, I don't know if you're hiding around this corner here, I guess you're known to do that. My name's Dylan, if you didn't hear. I just want to talk to you. If you speak into the silver box right here in my hand, I'll be able to hear your voice. I just want to ask you a couple questions. Say hi really quick, okay? Three, two, one. Manny, if you're up here and you can hear my voice, can you say your name? Do you like to play hide and seek with the people who come here? Can you see whoever's following us? We've been told that someone's been following us. All right, there's just a footstep in here. Um, I'm gonna play this back really quick. I guess I'll do my last session in here. Sounded like someone just like stepped on the floor because they have really, really creaky floorboards in here. You can't really sneak around this place. That's what it sounded like to me. Just like, I can't even rep, like, like that, only out there. But I'm gonna place back quick and see what we got. Do you know who's following Dylan and I? Is it okay to sleep in this house? Are you by me? By this well? One, two, three. 
nothing again, literally nothing on those. So that's interesting because it's kind of been what it's been like at a lot of these locations. The first solos of the night have been a little more tame than the later solos. So I'm interested to see as we move throughout the house tonight, if they warm up to us a little bit more, if they're more used to talking to us and how the solo goes for Dylan down here later. But let's do one more session before we meet up with him. And then we're gonna start upstairs on the second floor where he is right now. And we're gonna go right into an Estes to see if we can communicate that way. But let's do one more session down here uh, before we go upstairs. What? Manny, if you're up here and you can hear my voice, can you say your name? Would you like to play hide and seek for the people who come here? Can you see whoever's following us? We've been told that someone's been following us. I can't tell. Very, very raspy. It's not as clear as the other voices. Figured I'd do this last session over here by the, uh, the drawing of the bent neck lady and see if we get anything with that. So here we go. One, two, three. Who is this drawing of? Are you afraid of whoever came here with Dylan and I? How many soldiers are buried on the property? One, two, three. Let's see if uh, we got anything in this last session before I meet back up with Dylan. All right, so I heard a noise in this room over here. So I'm gonna ask one final set of questions. See if I can get a clear name of who's up here. Um, maybe if we can make contact with this negative spirit who's been following us around, allegedly. Um, and just kind of go from there, kind of set the mood for the night, you know? Let's see. Three, two, one. Can you speak into the silver box? Can you tell me your name? At the end of the night, Steve and I are going to split up again. Are we safe to do that? Is that smart? I'm going to ask this again. Can you see what followed us here? What does that say? There's something right there. There's something talking. I cannot tell what that says. There's definitely an answer right there. It almost sounds like there's an answer to the one right before that as well. So it seems like they're warming up and getting a little closer and more likely to communicate with us. I don't know. I'm, I'm super excited to be back here. Let's get into it. Let's get upstairs. Let's find Dylan. Um, let's do an SS session and uh, we'll see what the night has in store for us. Let's go. Plays back really quick. See what we got. What? Get out? Hold on. So a lot of screaming in this room. I'm not really sure that I like that, especially because I heard the noise in this room. Um, I'm gonna run downstairs, I'm gonna meet up with Steve and we're gonna get started here at the Conjuring House. All right, guys, so we're starting up here in the second floor after our first solos. I'm in the birthing room, and I'm going to go under for an SS session. We have a red light on this time. See if that changes anything. Hopefully, we can maybe see something moving behind me. 
hopefully not, I guess. I don't really know. We'll figure it out. But Dylan's going to be out kind of walking around the rest of the second floor. I'm under for Estes. He's got a millimeter set up out there, the music box. Um, we're just going to see if we can make any sort of communication with whoever may be up here. Um, we didn't investigate in the birthing room at all last time because it was March and it was like 15 degrees in here. Yeah. Um, so this is our first time literally ever investigating in this room. So we'll see what we get. Um, good luck out there. I'm going to go under and... Uh, We'll go from there. Yeah, good thing you're not in like a dark, scary closet in the back of the house. With my back to it. That's dark. Anyway. Yep. Anywho. Well, <sighs> yeah, guys, so right here's the Melmeter. I put it right next to some of the toys. Up here, there's reported to be a lot of like chilled, uh, children's spirits. So if they want to play with some of the toys, hopefully that will go off. Um, I put the music box right here in the middle bedroom, kind of facing out towards the, uh, the doorway and the edge of the bed there. So if anyone is coming this way from that staircase, hopefully we can pick them up. Um, Looks like Steve's going under though. So I was up here. I stayed again primarily in these two rooms. Asshole. That was a female voice. That was kind of mean. Are you upset that I left you? I only stayed up here for a couple minutes. A few of our friends were just here for a week. Spent a full week at your home. Can you say one of their names? Five. Five? Did you recognize five people? Four. Why are you counting down? What does that mean? What are you counting down to? Is something going to happen when you hit one? It's kind of ominous. I'm not sure if you remember us or if you heard us and we split up. My name is Dylan. This is Steve. We're just here to talk to you tonight. See him. You see me? Or do you Please see get me? out. We just want to talk to you. We don't mean you any harm. Why do you want us to leave? Leave now. I heard that. That was so loud. Why do you want us to leave? Can you have a conversation with me really quick? Or I wonder if it's talking about whoever followed us here, right? Did we bring someone with us? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Is it leave. For, is it for our safety that we leave? Is there something negative with us? on the ceiling which I mean the ceiling is pretty low but can you touch the top of that so it lights up well it does light up make some noise it's not gonna hurt you okay or can you step in front of the music box in the middle bedroom plays a little song all it does is let us know that you're here that was a male voice, but I couldn't make it out. Why do you want us to leave so bad? Is there something in this house that doesn't like us? Run. Run. It's all this, like, you need to leave sort of vibe. You know what I mean? Like, I wonder if they're speaking to whoever followed us. We get this at a lot of the locations that we visit. I always reference the Emory Estate because we got evil, unholy, that sort of vibe. What if it is this negative entity that's been following us for the past couple months? Who else is here? Just myself. If you didn't hear, my name is Dylan. My friend Steve. Steve is over in the birthing room. He has headphones on. He's listening for your voice. Can you tell him what state that we're in? Female voice couldn't make it out. It feels weird in this room. I just feel like it's getting darker. Like, I feel like the, the hallway. Like, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like there's people behind me, but like close to me. Not a lot of room back there, homie. I just feel like this hallway is getting darker, though. Like, this is what I see. Like, a little bit of a red tint from Steve's light over there, but besides that, it's pitch black. What you guys see down there are like IR boosters that the cameras have. We just want to tell your story. We don't mean any disrespect. Front of. Front of. What was that? What was that? What was that? Are you coming up the stairs right now? Did Who's I just... that? That's what I'm saying. Who's that? Can you see who just came up the stairs? Or who was in the staircase? 
That's got chills, bro. Oh no. What does that mean? What do you mean, oh no? There's noise down there, too. Why are we always surrounded, bro? Everywhere we go. Who's on the stairs? Can you tell me their names so I know how to address them? Like, first thing I thought of was the negative entity, right? Hate him. Hate him. You hate who's on the stairs? Hate. Hate. Do you hate me? Why are you still here? You got him? You got him. Here. You got him here. Are you talking about the person who's following us? Are you saying that we picked them up here? He did? He did. Yo. That's actually kind your of Your problem? He is your problem. We've been told we have attachments from the Sally house. We were told in Indiana that we were cursed. Are you saying that someone followed us from here as well? Can you just confirm for me? Set off one of these devices. Tell Steve. I just want to make sure I'm getting this right. Get out. It was, a, it was like a yell. Get out. It's like, are they talking to me or are they talking to the, the, like the guy who's our problem now? You know what I mean? Get out now. We're spending the night here. This entity who's our followed, problem. Followed, followed him. Followed him. Who followed us here? Can you give me their name? We've been trying so long to get their name. We haven't gotten a clear response. Or do they not have a name? I'm watching. I don't understand why it's so hard to get a name. Where are you watching from? Can I come talk to you? He'll hurt. He'll hurt. He'll hurt and then it cut off. Is he gonna hurt me or is he gonna hurt them? You? He'll hurt them. What if he's talking about the kids? Every single place that we've been, it just seems like this negative entity is tormenting whoever is stuck at the locations that we go to. That's him. That's him. The one who, okay. Are you saying this negative entity is going to harm the children of this house? Or the residents of this house? That's so wild. Like, how does that make sense, right? So spirits can see each other then. They can interact. But how do you harm someone in the afterlife? Can we help All right. You? All right. Can we help you somehow? Is there some way to protect you from this negative entity? Enough. Enough. You have enough protection? We came here last March to film a video, just like we are now. A piece of the windowsill was ripped off the wall. Are you going to do that again? Because we were up here when it happened. Leave. Back to leave. Can you address to who you're referring to? If you want me to leave, can you say Dylan? If it's the negative entity, can you give me their name? That was a super deep voice. I couldn't make out what it said. That was so deep. You can't harm the people that live here. They didn't do anything to you. This isn't your house. If you followed us, your gripe is with us, not them. We're gonna have to go downstairs soon. I'm gonna have- Trapped. To... Trapped. Are we trapped? Or are you saying that you're trapped? With us. Trapped with us, yep. That's exactly what I thought they were trying to say. You can't trap us here. You have no power over this realm. He came here. He came here. Who came here? Can you give me a name? That's all I want, man. Just a name. Danger. <laughs> Danger. Leave. He's in. Where is he? The middle bedroom? I don't know, I'm getting really weird vibes in this middle bedroom. Behind him? Behind Steve? Around? 
behind him around. Is he behind Steve right now? We keep getting all these places that we go to. Danger. Um, you know, you should leave all this sort of other sort of stuff like warning us. But we've been asking this negative entity, whatever it is, if it has so much power, why doesn't it do something? Throw something off a shelf. You know what I mean? Like these Jenga blocks right here. What's up? Dude, that... You just freaked me out. Dude, that just felt like... It was like a hot breath. A hot, what well, you just said behind him. Dude, it was right here. It literally felt like somebody went like all over the side of my neck. Dude, that scared the shit out of me. You scared me when you jumped, damn. Holy, dude, I don't even know what that could have been. Like, logistically. Right. I don't know why, like I looked at this. I mean, it's, it's cold out. Dude, oh my God, that was so weird. It's not like there's gonna be a warm draft. It wasn't like, it wasn't cold. It was literally like somebody's hot breath, literally right on the side of my neck. It was like. <sighs> and you had just said behind him. Dude, so, that was. I didn't like that. Uh, no. Dude, I that either. was terrible. Yeah, you had literally just said danger behind Dude, him. Dude, that scared the shit out of me. Did you feel like footsteps or anything? No. No, no that's what. I, it was just like. It literally was like somebody was right. It was, it was right here. It wasn't like it was like faint far away it was literally like somebody was right on me and went <sighs> right it was just like hot all right here but it was it wasn't like my neck got hot it was hot air right like hot air came at me R literally just like right here i was literally just saying to this negative entity whatever's following us like it keeps trying to intimidate us but it doesn't do anything to us you know what i mean dude that I was literally just said awful that. it didn't well, feel like something touched me it felt like somebody like hot blue hot air yeah. on, just right here on the side of my neck that's probably a good omen for the rest of the night, right? Dude, that was terrible. Yikes. I don't know. It has a weird vibe up here, too. This middle bedroom, like I, I said, it feels like darkness is like closing around. Dude, that know? freaked me out. I think we're in for, a, uh, for our work. I don't know what that could have even been. There's no heat yeah, in here. Yeah, there's no heat. There's not heat in here. And that's it's why we didn't out. investigate in this room last time, because it was so cold in here. Right. And it's like 50 degrees out. There's and it didn't come around. like... It didn't come... I don't know how to describe it. It didn't come like, like, like wind or anything like passing through me. Right. It was literally like it was it was like targeted. I don't you know what I mean I don't know how to say it. It was in a, a confined area. Right. Right here. It didn't hit the side of my face. It, it hit just here on the side of my neck. It literally was like something like, like all. It was long. Dude, that was terrible. <laughs> I've never felt something like that. No. I've never like I wouldn't even know how to describe that. Good start. For who? <laughs> well, I mean, guess we'll find out. That was terrible. <laughs> that was terrible. Ah, uh, let's go downstairs. Yeah. Let's. I'm good with in here. Yeah. I'm good in here. Yeah. I'm all set. All right. Let's, let's go downstairs. So. Really quick guys, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you drop down below and give us a like because if we get 3,000 likes on this video, we're gonna head down to Key West, Florida and hang out with Robert the Doll. So you guys drop a like, let's get back into the investigation. All right guys, so we moved downstairs. We put pretty much all of our equipment out. We have a uh, Mel right here in the chair. We have a REM pod over here in the library. We have another Mel on the staircase right behind me. And then we have the music box facing the staircase to the basement as well. If we need to, we'll break out the DR 60s, ask them some questions. But last time we were here in filming, um, we had some crazy stuff down here. Yeah, we had a lot of good EMF activity, yeah. intelligent responses. So that's what we're going for tonight here. Um, I'm trying to see if we can figure out who breathed on my neck upstairs. That was yeah. one of the weirdest experiences I've ever had at any location. It was so centralized in one spot. It was a hot like drawn out breath it was really really weird like it shook me up it surprised me for a minute yeah that's what i find interesting too because last night we were filming at sk pierce we kind of film out of order we just kind of film when we can and release when we can but um i was kind of calling them out you were kind of calling them out all night and they tugged on my hood same thing we start out we kind of call them out if you're this negative spirit why don't aren't you affecting us right and then they breathe on your this neck weird deep like heavy breath on my neck so let's see what we can get down here see if they can communicate with any of this stuff uh, before we head down to the basement yeah let's do it all right so my name's steve this is dylan you may recognize us we've been here before a couple times 
We're just here to talk to you. If there's anything you want to communicate with us, we're here to listen. We don't mean you any disrespect. We don't mean the house any disrespect. We're just here to talk. These devices we have set up should not hurt you. All you have to do is get near them, wave your hand in front of them, touch them, walk in front of them. They will light up, change colors. Some of them make noise. Some even play music. All they do is let us know that you're here and allow us to converse with you. Like I said upstairs, we can't see you and we can't hear you. So these devices help us bridge that gap. This house has a lot of history. It's very well known. Do you enjoy when people come here? Wait, move here. Did this like this? Before you did that, what did you do? Uh, this is what I did. I there was just literally a shadow right here. Really? Yeah, it was just on the other side of this wall. Like over by the staircase? Yeah, I didn't know if it, like my, so you can see my shadow. Yeah. On this back wall over here by the fireplace. It was over here in front of me. Yeah, because my shadow's casting back here. Yeah. No, it was, it was directly, it was directly over here. It was on that wall. It was super quick. It didn't have like a defined shape or anything. Right. It didn't look like a music box. And then the music box. Dude, I just got such goosebumps. Yeah. Literally, that's pointed directly where I just saw that. That's kind of freaking wild, actually. Dude, that is crazy. Dude, it, like I said, it didn't have a defined shape. It didn't look like a person. Right. It, it was, was just like, a shadow. It just moved across, and then the music box goes off, pointed directly at it. If Steve just saw you, can you set off one of the devices we have set up? Walk in front of that music box again. Set off one of the meters. Was that not? Did you hear that loud thud? Yeah. Was that above us? I, I don't know where it came from. That was such a loud thud. Yeah. Hello? Can you make a noise? Music box again. Dude, right here behind me. There's something right over here. Yeah. Are you hiding by the staircase of the basement? It's a pleasant image. Are you hiding by the staircase of the basement? It's a pleasant image. Are you hiding by the staircase of the basement? It's a pleasant image. Yeah. Are you the one that followed us from here? Or from a different location? Can you set that device off again? All you have to do is walk near it. Walk in front of it. You've been doing it. You've done really well so far and we appreciate it. We understand it probably takes a lot of energy to manifest, to have that go off. I saw something over there. Out there? Like in, in the, the library or outside? It, like cross in front of the lights. Outside? Yeah. Like on the land? I, I can't tell if it's like... In the room or outside outside? Right. Cause I was looking, I like out of the corner of my eye, saw the window plane get like, yeah. blocked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really weird actually. Well, think about it. There's that a connects. doorway. There's yeah. a doorway. It's closed, but there's a doorway that connects on this back side of this wall into the library. Cause I saw the light out of the corner of my eye. And, and then it's back over and here. And the music box is off again. Did I just see you? Did you run into the library? Or do you know who did? Isn't that where they see like this dark shadowy figure too is in the library and it moves um, like books and stuff that happens in there. Books get like pulled off the shelf. That'd be pretty scary if that happens. Yeah. Can you do that? <laughs> That'd be pretty scary. Can you do that? Did you see that? Shuffling? It sounds like there's movement in there. Yeah. There's, there's somebody walking in the library. Can you move one of those chairs if you don't want to move a book? That's way worse. Well, I mean, they could hit us with a book. They could hit us with a chair. That'd be kind of crazy. Can you make a really loud noise for us, wherever you are in this house? Stomp your feet. Move a Walk in front of the music box. What is standing over there? It's like in the doorway. I feel like whenever you draw attention to it, it moves away. Like I looked over, it was fine. Right. Are you scared of Steve? Are you trying to avoid him? Or is whatever is attached here near me right now? Right. Because you had your back turned. It was almost like I was walking yeah. up behind you. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> and then I breathed on my neck. Up yeah. there. I love it here. You made a new friend. I don't want a new friend. All right. If this is the person that's been following us, that is attached to us, set off that device again. Walk in front of it. If you're this entity that's been following us from different locations. 
If you're from this house and you're trying to avoid whatever's following us and it's scaring you and you're intimidated by it, set off any device in this room. If that's the case, if you're from this house, set off that device. We can try to help you. You said something about the kids too. Almost like it's gonna go after the kids or the kids are in danger. Oh, upstairs? Yeah. Are you trying to protect the kids? That's kind of sad. Dude, that's crazy. What? I just saw something else. Where? Dude. Like in that doorway? So, okay, you see the, like, the white sign? Yeah. On that door? Yeah. It just got blocked out. It just got blocked out 100%. The door? So, okay. Oh, like the, okay. That's so like the, yeah, to that far area. Okay. Why is it hiding in the corner though? It's, just, it's like moving in the back dark corners of yeah. this building. It's like, and exactly. then that goes off again. Literally, it's moving in the back dark corners and the music box goes off. That's like a horror movie trope. Like, what can I do to be We're scared? We're literally in a house from a horror movie. Mm -hmm. So, makes sense. Are you trying to intimidate us? Are you trying to scare us early on? You're gonna have to do something a lot bigger than that. This whole night just took a weird turn. Yeah. Like it feels way different down here. I feel way more uncomfortable down here than I did upstairs. I was saying upstairs too, when you were under, I kept looking into the middle bedroom and it felt like darkness was like closing in. Are you trying to get closer to us? We're gonna be splitting up again later. Is it easier for you to communicate with us when we're separate? Good, that's great. Grand, even. Wonderful. Are you gonna do something to us tonight? Yikes. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't ask that. Nope. <laughs> We're sleeping here. Yeah. Have you been building up energy to do something big? Did you know that we were coming here? Do you know who knocked the piece of window trim off the wall last time we were here? Someone's like pulled on my, my arm. It was like pulled on my elbow. Something pulled weird. on your arm, not yeah. your clothes? It was like the clothes, yeah, it was my sweatshirt. Was it her? I hope not. She's still in there, right? Looks locked to me. Okay. It was like it pulled the elbow though, like it just like pulled on the fabric. Yeah. yeah. Dude, those shadows were crazy. Can you show yourself again? Can you run into this room? Or go through the shh, library? Shh. There's movement. There's just movement in this room. Behind me. And then the music box, go, come on dude, that's every time. <laughs> There's movement in the room, and then the music box goes off in that room. I feel like the music box never goes off, too. No, like, we that's haven't so had good activity with it in a while. It's literally pointed right over towards the door for the basement. Are you trying to lure us in the basement? It literally just feels like we're being stared at from yeah. like back in that corner, like that dark area over there. That's a good image. Can you sit off another one of these devices we have set up? They work very similar. If you just get close to them, they're gonna light up, make some noise. Come up the other basement staircase. Behind Dylan. Open that door. Or open any door. Show us how powerful you are. If you're this entity that's been following us, you've been to some of the biggest named locations in the country. A lot of people go through, they leave a lot of energy. I just got goosebumps, like my whole body. Yeah. Like the whole back, like everything just got super like chilled. It literally just got goosebumps out of nowhere. Like nothing even just happened. Right. I just got like super like goosebumps down my whole back, my arms. Like right before you said that too, I was gonna say, I feel like I just got like a wicked sense of deja vu. Like we've never been in this scenario, but I just feel like I've been here before. You know what I mean? Right. Who's in the kitchen? Did you hear that voice? Yeah. Was it in the kitchen or was it over by the stairs? I don't know. Oh, I just got goosebumps. That was a voice. All, all my hair standing up. That's crazy. That was a voice. It was yeah. like, hey. Or like, it was, a, it was a whisper though. That's where all the gear is. Yep. Are you going to swing that door open for us? Can you say something again? Speak as loud as you can. 
We'd love to hear your voice again. That was so loud. Dude, that was bizarre. Hello? If you're upstairs and you can hear our voice, can you walk around so we can hear your footsteps? If I step into the library. I'll stand in this doorway where you were. Can you set off some of these devices? Can you show yourself? Walk by that doorway, just like you did when Steve saw you? Again, we're just here to communicate. We're not trying to make you leave. You're not in trouble. Oh, that was. What? Wow. It was like somebody just poked around the corner. From by was, the. It looked like it was like white though. I can't tell if it was from the basement stairs or if it was like around that corner. Back towards the, the stairs to go upstairs? Yeah. Can you open that basement door more? You've been doing good. You're setting off the music box. That's the other thing though. That hasn't gone off again. Yeah. Right? So that like validates it's not just, you know what I mean? Like it's going off when we're discussing things about it. Right. If you're still over there in that room, can you set off the device again? All you got to do is get close to it. You've been doing it. Step in front of it. It lights up and plays music. Oh Yo. my God, dude. That's absolutely insane. It only Thank goes you. off when we ask it to. It's directly on command. Right. That's yeah. intelligent. That's insane. Can you make a loud noise? Slam one of the doors? Knock on a wall? Move one of our devices that we have set up? Do something that really gets our attention so we know it's you for sure. Whatever's gonna be the easiest for you to do. If you need to, drain our batteries. You drain mine upstairs. We're gonna be going back down to the basement here soon. Is that where you're trying to lure us? You're trying to get us down to the basement by the well? Because if this is something that follows us, right? Right. Every time we get a device that goes off near a staircase, usually we follow it. Right. What if it's like, oh, I bet I can get it out of the basement if yep. I set off this music box. Yep. Is that what you're trying to do? How about this? If you're going to join us in the basement when we go downstairs in a minute, can you set off that music box? Oh my God. That scared me a little. Dude, that's absolutely insane though. Yeah. It only goes off when we ask it to. It's directly on command. Right. Whatever's in this part of the house at least is intelligent. That's insanely like intelligent. Time, I mean, the mail was going off last time. Right. On, like directly after we asked a question. Right. And now this is doing it every single time we ask. The music box is going off, which is motion sensored. You right. have to go in front of it. Right. And it happens directly after we see the shadows over there. I see a shadow move. It goes off. Yeah. For the first time. You know what I mean? Like, and then it's just nonstop. Anytime we ask it, it's going back and forth. It's setting it off. Something is intelligent and it's in this house. Right. Absolutely. We have to go to the basement. Yeah. Let's go down to the basement. Let's do some EVPs. Let's see if we can communicate with whoever this is. If mm -hmm. They just said they're going to follow us down to the basement. Let's see if we can communicate and get some answers. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys. So we moved down to the basement. Now we're in the room that has the well. We set a REM pod directly on top of the well. We have a Melmeter. On the stairs, as a, it, it was the mel. The mel's going off. The mel just hit, and now the temperature. Can you touch the top of that again? Just like that? It's oh. pinging. Dude, that's literally, okay, the thing said it's going to follow us downstairs, and it starts following us downstairs as soon as we get down here. Can you step away, please? So... Dude, that's intelligence. Can you touch that again? Grab the top of that device on the stairs, please. So it lights up and makes that noise. How? Guys, this place is haunted, if you didn't That's know. absolutely insane. That's, that's unbelievable. You gotta think how many people come through here though. They know how to use this yeah. stuff. They are intelligent, they know how to use this, and they're willing to. Yeah. They said they were gonna follow us downstairs and immediately we get down here, the millimeter on the stairs goes off. What about the music box in the hallway? Can you come down the stairs all the way and sit off this music box? Just walk in front of it. It's the same thing you're using upstairs. Plays music and has a white light on it. Walk down the hall. And it'll go off. That, that's the melody, though. Yeah. 
It's not the temperature though, it's the no, fully that's the, the EMF. That is that is energy. That takes a lot of like energy and power to they do that. They have to though. physically touch it. Yeah. What's that? Is it like a knock on the stairs? Yeah. Okay, can you step back for a second? So it stops making that noise? This one's going on. Oh my Yo. god! Behind me. A common theme all Dude. night though. It goes behind you. I just had such goosebumps. Surrounded. How are we surrounded again? We just got down here. Thank you. Can you step off of that and come in here and touch this one again? But if they're trying to protect the kids, right? Maybe they took them down here. Right. They're hiding in this room and then whoever's following us just came down the stairs. Right. So, yep, right here. Are you trying to protect the kids? You took them into this room to hide? Can you set off the one in this room with us? If that's the case. There's something on those stairs. Yeah, just standing there. Is this somebody from the house? Are you attached to this property? Yes, okay. But I wonder if the thing that was in here was whatever's following us. Right. Can you step back so it stops? Thank you. That's on command every single time. I don't understand. Do you want to use the voice recorder so we can hear your voice? Step back for a second. He's like maxing it out. Yeah. So you have to grab it's like the top of it. Yeah. And then this one pings one time directly. That's holding the top of that. Yeah. That's, that's pretty nuts. That's a lot of power. There's something with a lot of power in this basement. Yeah. Can you set this one off? You're not gonna intimidate us. You're not gonna scare us. Join us in this room, set off this mail. Works the exact same way. You set it off a minute ago. Can you do it again? No, that one stops. Yeah. Let's see. If you're still out there and you're by the stairs, can you touch the top of that device again so it lights up and makes that noise? If you're still out there, grab a hold of it. It feels weird down here. Yeah, immediately. Dude, that one, the fact that it pinged once behind me is a little bit more concerning. Right. Right, it was like it just came in the room. Right. And now it's just in here. Can you make a noise if you're still in this room with us? Knock on the table, move a chair, Set off a device. Make as loud as a noise as you possibly can. Yell, run down the hall, move something. I think I just heard a voice. I was hearing that upstairs, like here. a full conversation. Here, here, here. It literally just sounded like I heard a voice from down that hall. It sounded female. It honestly sounded female. Can you yell to us? If you're down there in one of those rooms, step out so we can see you. There's a knock. There's a knock down there. How many knocks was it though? I don't know, I couldn't tell. I'm gonna knock. Are you able to knock back? We're gonna use these devices that record your voice. We wanna be able to ask you some questions. Come down to the room with the well and speak as loudly and as clearly as you can and we will hear you. Whatever message you have to get across, anything you wanna tell us, come down here and make it loud and clear for us. I'll step in there and do that. Yeah. We'll start in here and then if we wanna do some out there, we can. Right. I'm gonna go over here by this, that spiked, because why not? All right. Go right into questions. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Is there somebody negative that is following us from other locations? Are you trying to scare us out of this house? If you're able, Come to this device in my hand and scream as loud as you can right into this device. Does someone here wish us harm? One, two, three. All right, let's see. Let's 
see what we got on these. Yeah. Is there somebody negative that is following us from other locations? What? Is there somebody negative that is following us from other locations? Right into this device. There's something there. Like can't make sense. it out. Yeah. Hey, Scream as loud as you can. Right into this device. I can't make out what's no. saying. It's like chatting. There's very, very faint whispering there. Yeah. It's like they're a little bit distant. I wonder if they're out in the hallway. Possibly. So let's see what yours got. Yeah, close to the doorway. There's somebody negative that is following us from other locations. You're trying to stare at that. There's something Yeah. There's somebody negative that is following us from other locations. You're trying to stare at that now. Is it yes? yes? Play that again. Yeah. There's somebody negative that is following us from other locations. You're trying to stare us out of the house? I'm sure Come to the device in my hand and scream as loud as you can right into the device. Is there someone here your car? Yo. That's again behind me. Why is it behind me every there's, time? Yo, there's a theory that when you play these back, it's on they the same They can hear better. Way. Yeah. And then it stops. Do you wish us harm? And it pings directly Good. behind me. That's great. Again. I don't know. All right, man. well. I don't know. Let's do, let's do another set of questions. Go into the hallway, maybe? Yeah, let's stand right here in the hallway, right in the doorway at least, and see yeah. if they're any clearer. Because it was like very faint whispering, so it's almost like I wonder if they're out there. Right. And you heard the voice out like down right. the hallway, too. Right. Yeah. Let's go out that way. Yeah. I guess, try I'll go, one. I guess I'll go first. I was going to say one in the hallway, one in here. You bad person. Well, I mean, you know, for the sake of experiment. Goodness me. All right. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Is there a negative entity that has followed us here that means us harm? Are you affecting the residents of this house? Can you say Harrisville? When we split up, who are you going to talk to? Are you watching us from the end of this hallway? Where did we pick you up from? One, two, three. This hallway's got a weird vibe right now. Yeah. This hallway feels really weird. Really, really weird out there. All right. Is there a negative entity that has followed us here that means us harm? It literally sounds like it goes like, help me. And then there's a, yes, it does. Yeah. Very faint whisper. The does is really clear. Is there a negative entity Listen. that has followed us here that means Help me. Yes, it does. Are you affecting the residents of the town? Oh, good. Can you say Harrisville? Are you rocking us in the other hallway? I can't tell. So it sounds like, help me. Yes, yes it, it does. does. And then a scream the second time when you mm -hmm. ask about, is it affecting the residents here? Right. That's the same thing we've been getting though. That's so bizarre. It's strong enough and it's powerful enough to even to overpower the spirits of the conjuring. Right. House. It can interact with our realm. It can set off devices, but it's not limited to that. Right. right. That's so weird. I'll see if this one picked up anything different. Oh, 
I did? Huh? Hold on. I did. Yeah. I did. What? There's something after that? Yeah. Something that, yeah. One more time. I can't tell what that says. No. So it's 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 there. There's something here. Yeah. That's followed us again from somewhere else. But it's terrorizing the people that live here. So I the spirit. Know. Maybe that's why it's following us, though. Right. We go to all these locations. It's new people to mess with. Maybe it gains more energy and more power the more we bring it to these haunted locations as well. Maybe it can tap into their energy as well as ours and our right. equipment to build up and just gain more and more energy every single time to do whatever it's trying to do. That's what I was saying upstairs, too. We're going to a lot of the big name locations around the U.S. where a lot of right. people go to, right? Right. There's a lot of energy left at these places. Yeah. I don't know. It's been super, super weird tonight. Yeah. We've experienced things that we've never experienced at any location before. And they're intelligent, they're in your face, the equipment's going off nonstop. Right. But it is that time. It's gonna be about that time. We have to do our solos again. I get to stay down here. It's time to flip flop. You're coming back down to the basement. I'm going up to the second floor where I had something breathe on my neck. I mean, you'll have that. So that'll be good. Um, but that's it, and then it's time for some sleep in the Conjuring House. So let's do these solos. Let's see if the activity is any different now, because my solo down here, I was, it was a little quiet. I got a couple EVPs, but it was a little quiet. So it seems like whatever's down here now is a little bit more awake. Yeah, good. So we'll see if anything's different, but let's do it. Let's get upstairs, grab some stuff, and uh, split up again. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys, if you've been enjoying tonight's investigation at the Conjuring House and all the spooky content that's been coming out here in October, don't forget to drop down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you are notified every single week when we upload a brand new investigation, guys. Just because October's over doesn't mean these investigations stop. We got new videos dropping every single week, so hit that subscribe button. Now let's get into these solos. All right, guys, so it's that time of the night. We're going to split up and do solos again, only we're going to flip-flop spots just like we've been doing all October uh, the basement, I don't know, has a weird vibe. Um, the first time we came here, I was supposed to sleep down there alone, so I feel like it's kind of funny I'm going back down there alone to finish off the night. Yeah, and we just got some really weird EVPs down there. It yeah. said there is something here that's negative that's followed us from somewhere else, not from this house. It's right. followed us from somewhere else like it has been. It means us harm. It's going to do something to us, and it's scaring the people that are here. Right. Now, also upstairs, I have to go back up there where the thing breathed on my neck in the birthing room. And we got danger. We right. need to get out, that sort of thing. So. It's been a super strange... That is the music box and the Melmeter pinging upstairs both already. Both are going off, yeah. You're going to have a great time. And they both time. just stopped. You're mm. going to have a great time, now. Yeah. Well, on that note, I'm going to go upstairs, do some EVPs. I'm going to do some EVPs as well. Yeah. And uh, I'll see you in a little while if you survive. And uh, yeah. we'll try to get some sleep. Get some shut eye. Let's right. do it. See you later. Here we go, back upstairs to the birthing room where I had the thing breathe on my neck. This will be fun. All right, guys, this is more like it. Looking down a staircase, that's what I'm used to. All right. All right, hi there. So we made it up here. I have the music box in that room pointed at the open door of the birthing room. I have the Melmeter right here on the floor in this middle bedroom. And I'm gonna do some EVPs as well, but we could just hear this stuff going off while we were downstairs. So that's super comforting. So let's see what we can get up here during our last solos. My name's Dylan. If you don't remember me, I was just down here a couple minutes ago with my friend Steve. Now we split up. We're gonna be alone for our last session here at the house. We'd like to set off one of these devices I have down here with me. Same ones that we just had down here. I have the Mel on that case over there. And I have the REM pod over on the well. If you wanna set off one of those, if you wanna make an audible noise, I'm gonna give you some time right now to do so. If not, I have the DR60. I can ask you some questions. 
hopefully get some responses that way. Let's do some EVPs. I think we should jump into EVPs. Um, see if I can figure out maybe who breathed on my neck earlier, if I want to know who that was. And uh, see if we can communicate with maybe people that are residents in this house or from this house. Not necessarily this negative thing that's been following us. I'm getting a little bit sick and tired of talking to it, honestly. I want to communicate with the spirits at these locations. That's why we come here. I come to communicate with the spirits from this location. Not this thing that's negative and trying to follow us around and say it's a demon. So let's see what we can get up here. I'm going to do a quiet session right here first to start. I'm going to put it right on the bed. Here we go. It sounds like there's like footsteps in the hallway. Do you want me to come out of the hallway? Make a loud noise out there. Is that a voice? That was like a male voice, like, it was like whispering though. I don't want to poke my head around this corner. I'm kind of scared, honestly. <laughs> it was like a male voice just whispered. You guys look first. See anything scary? All right, so if there's anybody up here with me, I have this device here on the bed. I'm going to count to three. Come up to it and speak into it as loudly and as clearly as you can. It'll record your voice and I'll be able to hear whatever you say. I'm not going to speak. This is your time. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's see what we got. I'm going to try to do some DR60 sessions here. This little silver box. If you speak into it, I'll be able to hear your voice. Okay. We just used them a minute ago. You seem to talk to us. I'm going to stand right in the threshold here of this well room. If you don't want to get too close to me, just yell down the hallway. I'm not going to ask you any questions at first. Just come up to this and speak into it. Tell me what you want me to know. Whether you want me here, you want me to get out, your name, how you're doing today, whatever it is. Ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Here we go. One. That literally sounds like it says, get out, bitch. Or just say get, it's like get the some get the f out and then you're a bitch. That literally calls me a bitch. This one hundred percent just called that just called me a bitch. Maybe it's the negative thing that's been following us because I said I don't want to talk to it anymore. What a welcoming first session. So uh, let's get into some questions and see if they want to talk to me because they seem super friendly. Here we go. Let's see what we got for the first session down here. There's something there. It's like a full sentence. Don't let me get hurt. Don't let me get hurt is what it sounds like. Don't let me get hurt. I had to listen to that like four times. That's crazy. Because this whole time we've been talking about, it seems like this negative spirit is coming in here and tormenting the spirits that are here. We got to help me down here earlier. Now it's saying, don't let me get hurt. Like it's coming to us for refuge. That's so sad though. I'm gonna do the first session here and then I'm gonna to move towards the birthing room for the other sessions, so. Oh my God. I said, I'm gonna to move towards the birthing room. The music box pointed at the birthing room goes off. It just did it again. Are you in that room? If you're in that room, can you set off that device again? Walk in front of it. 
so that it lights up and plays music. Can you do that for me? That's actually crazy. I said, I'm gonna go in there and go by the birthing room and it goes off twice in a row when I said that. I said, I'm gonna, three times in a row. Every time I say I'm gonna go in there and go near the birthing room, it goes off. Do you want me to come in there? If you want me to come in there, set that off again. That's absolutely insane. I cannot believe that. I'm gonna do EVPs. I'm gonna do EVPs in here first and then I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna ask you a couple more questions, okay? Speaking to the silver box for me. Three, two, one. How can we help you fight this negative entity I'm gonna have to stop that. Can you step away, please? Step back from that. Step back so it stops, please. I ask immediately, how can we help you to stop that? Only time the mail's gone off since I've been down here. I feel like I need to step out of this hallway. One, two, three. Who's in that room over there? Can I have their name? Do they want me to come in there? Do you know my name? One, two, three. Let's see. Don't like it one bit. There's so many like little areas to hide in, right? It's freaky in here. Also, there's this thing that scared me so bad when I first came down here. A little spectral figure they just got hanging out down here. All right, I'm gonna stand right here, right in the middle of the hallway. Famous last words. I'm gonna listen to that back though, see what we got. Who's in that room over there? Can I have their name? Do they want me to come in there? Do you know my name? One, two, three. Nothing. So it's like motion alarms going off in there and nothing in here now we get the the music box in there after this first one called me a bitch so now nothing's in here so i think i have to go in towards the birthing room i'm gonna go in that room and do a couple more sessions and uh we'll see what we can get in there let's head that way i only asked one question but hopefully they had some time to respond how can we help you nothing i don't think i hear anything on that Uh, nothing. I don't know. I didn't have enough time. All right. Maybe that's what they wanted, though. If there's this negative entity, I'm asking, how can we help? It cuts it off, right? All right. I'm going to ask more questions, see if I can find a way to help them out. All these locations we've been to, we've gotten the same thing. They're, you know, being afflicted by whoever is following us. And I, I don't know. I don't know how we can help them. Let's see. So again, I'm in the middle of the hallway now. I moved out here. Hopefully it'll be easier for you to speak to me. Can you speak into the silver box? I'm gonna ask you a couple more questions. Three, two, one. How can we help you fight this negative entity? Can you give us its name so we have power over it? Raggedy Ann, music box. Again, it's pointed towards the birthing room. So let's do, let's do some questions in here. Here we go. One, two, three. Did you want me to come in this room? Can you see me? Do you mean me and Dylan harm?
Are you the person that breathed on my neck earlier? One, two, three. Let's see what we got. Are you scared to talk to us? Are you being threatened? Where did they follow us from? What location? Three, two, one. Okay, maybe wait a second to play this back. Are you coming out of the birthing room? Or are you going up and down the stairs maybe? Are you going up and down the stairs or are you in the birthing room? If you're by the stairs, can you set off that device right there on the ground? All you gotta do is step in front of it. You've been doing it. Oh. Holy shit, that was on the stairs. That was somebody on the stairs. That literally was a creak on the stairs. Yikes. <laughs> All right, let's play this back. Let's play this back quick. Listen to it back. See what we got. What? How can we help you fight this negative energy? Can you give us this name? Can we have power over it? Are you scared to talk to us? How can we help you fight this negative energy? Can you give us this name? Can we have power over it? Are you scared to talk to us? I don't know. How can we help you fight this negative energy? Can you give us this name? Can we have power over it? Yo. I swear, I just saw someone, so there's, like, light on the staircase over here, right? Let me see if I can, if you guys can even see it. No, you can't. There's a little bit of ambient light from that staircase over there. I just saw a shadow cross, because there, there's a bunch of poles down here, right? It crossed through, it, there's like a light over here, it passed by that, then it passed by this one, too. Like, I saw two different lights get blocked out. I did it. It goes, I did it. I did it. Oh, cool. Nice to meet you. I guess it's kind of a weird thing to do, but all right, let's do one more round of questions guys before it's time to get some sleep here. Let's, tr let's try to listen to this back again, I guess. But again, if it's trying to interrupt, it doesn't want me to hear, it's going to distract me. So that's good image. Nothing too clear out here, so I wonder if whatever this negative entity is, if it's out in the hallway, it felt safe back in the well room, you know what I mean? Because if it's over there in that corner where I just saw that shadow, I don't know, I'm gonna move back over here. I'm gonna move back in the well room. One, two, three. Whoever breathed on my neck when I was in the birthing room earlier, can I please have your name? Are you going to mess with us while we try to sleep here tonight? Is the negative entity that followed us here going to mess with us while we sleep in this house? Are you coming up the stairs right now?
if there's somebody from this house in this room with me, we're gonna get out of your hair, we're gonna go to sleep. Can you say good night or goodbye into this device? One, two, three. Let's see if they had anything to say. All right, let's see. Three. Immediately. Can you touch the top of that so it lights up? You did it before when Steve and I were both down here. Was it this one? No, it was that one. Okay. Can you touch that millimeter? Touch the top of it so it lights up? Try to do some more EVPs though. Three, two, one. Can you give me your name? Are we in danger sleeping here tonight? Are you going to try to protect us? Can you say goodbye, good night, or come again? That says yes. That literally goes, yes. Listen. It sounds like it just starts to talk, but I cut it off. It did, I didn't sound like it said goodnight or anything, but it was just about to start talking before I cut it off. Let's see. What was that? It's like it cuts me off. It's like Lucifer. Listen to that. Okay, last night at SK Pierce, we got, it was like the devil, something to do with the devil. Now it's saying its name is Lucifer. Okay. So then there too. No, something? Listen to that. Something there. I can't make out that last one, I don't know. It sounds like it says Lucifer though. So again, something consistent that we've got, it's something this is a negative presence that's saying that it's the devil. It's saying it's Lucifer. It's trying to intimidate us. It's trying to scare us out of these places. And it's affecting the people who live here. I don't know. It's been a really weird night. Um, I find it especially weird that being down here alone, immediately we got someone asking for help. And then every time I try to bring it up again, the mail goes off. Almost like it's trying to cut them off. It doesn't want us to talk, right? Um, I don't know. Was, that was a really weird session. I think it's about time to head up back upstairs and I try to get some sleep here at the Conjuring House. Man, I, I don't know. It's been an insane, insane night and it's not over yet. We have to sleep here. Guys, we are gonna be sleeping in the Conjuring House tonight, right now. So our investigation doesn't end just when these cameras stop, but it's time for us to get some shut eye. That is a wrap on the Conjuring House part two, our return to the Conjuring House, the very first place we ever investigated for YouTube. It's been an absolutely insane night again. It lives up to the hype once again.
and it's a place we're definitely gonna have to come back to. But I'm gonna go find Dylan, we're gonna get ready for bed, and uh, we'll wrap this up for you guys later, but what a night. All right, guys, that is it. It's officially a wrap here on The Conjuring House. We survived the night, it is the following morning. Another really, really weird night here. I feel like The Conjuring House is one of those places you go to, you're gonna have a crazy night, just knowing the history, knowing how iconic this house is, it definitely did not disappoint. Though. Yeah, we have this thing that's still following us around. We haven't been able to get any answers about this, who it really is or why they're here. It seemed to even overpower some of the spirits here again. Yeah, I mean, like at SK Pierce, it seems like it said something to do with Lucifer, something to do with the devil. So it's trying to make it seem like it's this big, powerful entity, yeah. which I find very interesting. It's not giving us any other name, so. Hopefully we can find an uh, answer to all this, yeah. but um, it's time to get back on the road. Yeah, that is a wrap on October, but again, the videos are not ending, guys. We have new videos every single week still, so make sure you subscribe. Let's get on the road. Let's get to the next spot and see what we can find. Yeah, let's do it.